Hello everyone. So today we will see how to create uh, these kind of shiny looking candies in Photoshop. Okay, let's start. So I'm creating a new document here. I'm going to take a rough size. Okay. And this can be maybe 800. And I'm going to make it black. Okay, it's fine. So let us create a round candy first. So I'm going to the shape tool and use an ellipse tool. So draw a circle like this. Okay, so this is in black color, so you cannot view it. So I'm going to change this color. So double click this layer let's move this and so i'm going to use gradient overlay here so here instead of complete white and instead of complete black color i'm making it um, choosing colors like this because I'm going to apply color overlay on this uh, shape. Okay. So I'm selecting the style as radial. So check this reverse box. It and scale it a little bit and move it like this. Okay. Just uh, see the to see the depth. Okay, because this is a uh, round shape candy. So we want light in like this. So you can adjust the gradient uh, like you want. So this is fine for me. And I'm going to give some little bit inner glow. Not this much. Can reduce the opacity. So this is the can maybe like this okay, that's fine okay so this is the sp spear we have now now this is fine i'm going to convert this into a smart object now so right click this layer and select convert to smart object so we have the smart object so i'm going to apply color to this ellipse so double click it so select color overlay option here so i'm going to choose red color or something like this okay and from here select overlay option for blend mode okay maybe some other red Okay, this is fine. Okay. So now over this, we're going to paint the highlights. Okay, because the light is coming in this direction. So since this is a candy, there may be highlights uh, like this. So if you see here, there are light highlights here. Speculars, you can see in this also, you can see the speculars. Okay. So like this. We are also going to uh, draw some light highlights here. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer here. Okay. So press B to select the brush. And then I'm going to change the color like this. Okay. So I'm going to draw some highlights here. Okay. So before that, uh, just select control click this layer, this ellipse layer. Okay, so that you will get the selection here. Okay, and then come to this layer one, then start brushing. Okay, so brushing like this. You can change the opacity here and just start shading like this. So you can play with the highlights. 
this and try to mix the colors and make it a little bit smooth okay that's fine i think that's fine and then apply white color over this highlight okay something like this like this so don't make it a uh, color try to blend colors so i'm uh, pressing alt and selecting the average color from here so if you select the eyedropper tool here and you'll see here point sample you can uh, change this option to 3 by 3 average that means you can pick average color from particular space okay so it will not give you the exact color but it will give you the average color from that uh, space okay so until there and shade It's fine from here. I'm going to some spots will be more brighter, right? So just paint roughly. Thing. I think this is fine. I'm going to deselect the selection, so press Ctrl D. So now this is looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these two layers and I'm going to group it. Again, I'm going to convert this into a small object. So now play with the levels and curves. So So alt click and so that you will see the arrow here so that this level uh, changes sorry this level options will apply only to the bottom layer okay so increasing the and this is a bit and the contrast also it's fine and then I'm going to use curves just try and see what and all variations you are getting and if you like something just stop and go with that I want to uh, some red in the shadows bits and need the blue here so let's uh, see this blue color mixing is very nice I like that so this way you can see the possibilities and if you like that you can keep it okay so this is cooking good for me so if you zoom out and see this is looking great so now i'm going to apply some inner glow here so i'm selecting that uh, so come to the inner shadow first of all I'm going to select screen and change this color to white or maybe like this so this kind of glows you can change the direction from here also as well as you can change the angle from here And so we use it. Okay. Ready? 
this to more dark okay I think, I think this is okay so I want more saturation so again I'm creating hue saturation so pressing alt okay so increase the saturation a little bit and see just change it a bit okay this is fine yeah this is looking good now uh, almost done everything is done but see the corners the edges are very sharp right so we don't want this uh, kind of sharpness so i'm going to blur it a little bit so to do that um i'm going to first of all i'm going to select all these layers and convert them into a smart object okay okay that's fine and Control J, so this will give you a copy of that layer. I'm, I'm going to rename it to blur. Okay, just uh, disable this visibility. Okay, so that you can see the bl uh, blurriness. Okay, so now I'm going to filter again and selecting caution blur. Okay, so this much of blur we don't want. We want only. Mm, light blur and 1.2 is fine okay see now the edges are not that much sharp okay so now enable this uh, eye icon and now bring this bottom layer to top so i'm going to create mask for this layer so come here and select this so that you can mask only the edges okay so let us do the masking part so select the brush so i'm using only round brush okay and then put the opacity 100 percentage and black selected i'm going to hide this sharp edges this press the on the edges okay, see the sharp edges are going and you are getting the blurred edges and that is fine because the, then only it will look nice okay and now this is done so this is our candy this is looking really great um now i'm going to select these two layers and group it so press ctrl g to group so i'm going to move it aside so let us see another option also see there are uh, these striped candies also so we'll create one option like that also so duplicate this group so move it and we'll create the stripes so to do that stripes uh, first of all i will hide this layer select the brush and create new layer okay i'm going to use uh, this kind of sorry i'm going to use this color and i want a little bit hardness like this and then just hold shift and draw like this and another line sorry another line another line another line okay okay that's fine so so we are going to put it over this candy okay now enable this layer let's just so this appeared so maybe i'm going to rename this striped okay so that you will understand clearly so now just all click and see this arrow appears and this is masked okay 
so no so that's all we want and you can move this wherever you want like this okay yep and what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the basic little bits okay and i'm going to change the mode to linear light or some other hot light i think linear light is fine for me and create a mask here so take the round brush so i'm using this brush uh, with hardness completely zero okay so and use the opacity to maybe somewhere like this and increase the brush size and just brush like this okay because here we have the shadow so as per this uh, shadow we are shading like this so don't shade too much it's fine let's do that and here if you want okay this is fine so these lines are very striped right so we're going to change this a little bit so just press ctrl t and come here select this option over here and just adjust it somewhat so that it won't be looking um, very striped so it should be a little bit uh, disordered okay change this and see what happens this is okay and press enter so now so we got two candies one is plain candy another one is striped candy so this is the process that i follow to draw candies so I've created this uh, candy asset pack and I've published in its site. So the site link is available in the description. Also I'm given a discount code only for those who watch this video. So they will they can avail this offer. So you can get this candy pack with 50% discount. So just go and grab if you want all these candies. And thanks for watching. Thank you.